In this video, I'm going to show you how you can, in simple steps, use your DWG file that you got from your civil engineer to generate a topography inside 3ds Max. And I'm going to be doing it mostly with inbuilt tools. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is um, make sure that this file has been cleared up. The lines that are not topographical lines, you will select them and then you are going to delete them. Okay. So that what you have here are all lines that have topography information. Now, when I take this to 3D view, you're going to see that this topography has height maps. Okay. You can see that it's not level. It has all these um, heights you get. So it's important that you get rid of all the lines that are not part of this topography because sometimes after the civil engineer or the surveyor whoever did this drawing has finished doing the work they will put like a borderline around it and write some text so you have to get rid of all those things so that this thing is going to work well for you so when you have done that okay you're now come, going to come over here and then you're going to import it okay we're just going to import it real quick so go to wherever yours is located okay and then import the topography. Say yes. Say okay. And now, as you can see, it is inside 3ds Max. So what do we do? Where do we go from here? Okay, we just imported it. We need to convert this thing into geometry. Okay, topographical geometry. So I'm going to select this. Okay, I'm going to come over here. This is the create tab. On this tab that is showing standard primitive, click it to drop it down and then select the compound object. In the compound object, there is a tool here known as terrain. So immediately you click it, it is going to turn this into terrain. It's that simple. Okay. As you can see, we have our terrain over here. But that's not all. Okay. That's not all. There's still something else we can do. But if you are comfortable with this, you can stop here. But when I do this, when I put it in, um, in the wireframe mode, you're going to see that the way that the meshes are showing are not organized at all. And if you want to make further modification to this topography, it is going to be very, it's going to be hell for you to do that. So a way we can adjust this thing is to go over here in the modify tab. Okay. And select it to call retopology. Retopology. Okay, if you don't have this tool, that's because you have not installed it. You can install this tool from the Autodesk desktop app. Okay, when you go there, it will take you into the website and you're going to search for it and you're going to get it and download it and install it. Okay, then you have it here. So you can either increase, like now it is showing me that 5,000 face count. I can either leave it like this and then compute or you can increase it to whatever you want. If I leave it at 5,000 and compute, okay, it is going to load. Okay, you see what it did for us? It rearranged this topo and you can see it is very organized now. You can easily make modification to this topography. Or let's say I wanted to, or topology. Could have come over here and made this thing like 15,000, okay? And I'll compute. Okay, as you can see, this has increased the face count to 15,000 and you can see how smooth and how detailed this is. Okay. So when I turn it to default shading, you're going to see it. You may not notice any difference, but when you want to make modifications to this topography, it is going to be way easier to do it than when it is like this. Okay. This is what the topology tool did for you. This was, this is what it was before. All right. So that's basically it. Okay. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to see you in the next one.